as new techniques have been developed, either for science or for arts, they start merging at some point. Now we're trying with music and astronomy. And astronomy is looking for new ways to get in touch with people so that people can relate with these very complicated equations. I drew the inspiration for the first movement of the piece about this dance that they're doing around each other until they finally collide. And as they're coming together, I thought this is an opportunity for it to be more hectic. And that came into the second movement. And then finally, when they come into the third movement, it's the resolution. They form this big, brilliant elliptical galaxy. What are we hearing right now? Are the galaxies colliding? Are they whirling into each other? We want to hear that in the music. We want the people to understand and hear that also in the music. Crescendo. Fortissimo here. Yeah, right there is supposed to be where, where they, they hit, they collide, okay. and then they're passing, they pass through each other. Dr. Winkler pulled data from these simulations and he also gave me two equations. One equation is for force and one equation is for acceleration. Force is going to correspond to the note values and the acceleration is going to translate into the rhythmic value of the melody. I'm able to take personal liberties with these things, but the idea is that there is still a piece of the galaxy in my music. When you hear this piece of music uh, go from a point where it is a beautiful, expressive depiction of the star field and going to a place that's dissonant that couldn't have come out of that glistening style, then we're hearing a voice other than Ryan speaking. And I think it makes richer music. To be able to help out in trying to translate what we do scientifically and work with musicians that can get the heart and the soul of that science into music and notes and emotions is just uh, fantastic. So it's been quite a pleasure to do it here in, in UCR. Mm -hmm.